Today is September 12th, and once again, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest items in Halo Infinite Store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. This is Game Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. First things first, this week's weekly ultimate reward is supposedly going to be the battle ready stance, and I hope it is. It makes your spawn look really cool, so this is probably going to be one that I go for. Anyway, as for the store, let's start off with today's daily, which is the Yore Tex Bundle. This gives you 5 weapon coatings for 600 credits, you get the Yore Tex weapon coating for all 5 of them. Now for 600, this definitely isn't worth it, we've seen bundles that give you the coating for every weapon for 700, or almost every weapon for 700, so 600 for only 5 coatings definitely is not a fair deal. That being said, I do like how the coating looks, but no, this is not fair at all. Next up is the return of the Sky Marshall bundle. I do believe this is also permanent, but it's back for 900 credits, which isn't a sale. This is its original price, and this also isn't worth it. In the bundle, you get the Sky Marshall helmet, the Cosmocom legendary helmet attachment, the Night Witch legendary armor coating, and that's it. You do not get enough here for the price that they're charging, so again, this will be another skip for me. The Scrum Lizard bundle is here, back on sale for 500 credits. This gives you the Scrum Lizard coating for every vehicle. Not too sure how I feel about this one, but overall, I'm not going to complain about the price, as since you do get it for every vehicle, that's fine. Slipstream Factor Grid is also back on sale for 500 credits. This gives you an armor effect, the Captive Audience Stance, the Magenta Pop Visor, and the Merciless Rhubarb coating. Again, for 500, this isn't a terrible deal. You get an armor effect, which can obviously be used on every core. You get a really cool stance. I actually love this stance. The visor can also be used on every core. The only thing that can't is the coating, and that is obviously because it released in Season 3 before they started giving us the coatings for every core. But yeah, for 500, I don't think that's a terrible price. We also have another returning Season 3 bundle, this one being Facing Firewall. I think this was on the shop just the other week, but this is on sale again for 500 credits. This gives you the Data Core Administrator Visor, you also get the Facing Firewall Armor Coating for the Chimera Armor Core, the Traffic Cone Weapon Coating for the Assault Rifle, and you also get a set of shoulder pads for Chimera as well. For 500, I don't think overall this is as good in terms of value compared to Slipstream Factor Grid, but I don't think this is terrible, it's much better than its original price. Anyway, as for the new stuff, we have two bundles, starting with the Exoglobin bundle. Now this coating I absolutely love, you get it on every core, it's a pure black coating with this green blood splatter, it looks gorgeous, and you also get the Duke Legendary Charm, which is obviously the original Xbox controller, however, 1,400 credits for just a coating and a weapon charm is absurdly badly priced. This is absolutely terrible and they should not be charging this much for what you get here. If I do ever get this, I'll just wait for it to potentially be on sale next season because paying that much for just a single coating and a charm, this just ain't it. And speaking of insanely overpriced bundles, the other new bundle is the First Responder Bundle. This costs 1,600 credits, gives you the Flame Break Epic Armor Coating for every court, which does look nice, but it does bear some similarities to the, to the default hazmat coating. Overall, just in its color palette, not exactly its design. You also get the Farkas Helmet for the Hazmat Armor Core, which kind of looks like the Hazmat version of Reach Security. I do actually like this helmet. You also get the First Responder Chest Piece, the Type HPE Gloves, and the Yield for Shield Weapon Charm. But for 1,600, this is easily one of the most overpriced armor sets we have seen in the store to date. Again, this is another one where I like some of the cosmetics, but if I ever get it, I'll wait for it to go on sale, especially considering some of the bundles from the season have already been put on sale for much better prices. The store this week overall feels like a bit of an L, not because the things here are bad, I think there's some really cool cosmetics available this week, but the prices have just gone through the roof and I don't understand why. Anyway, this week's Spartan of the Week is a pretty cool Mark V B entry from Twip Twip. Overall, I like the use of the coating and colour coordination with the visor, and the wolf shoulders actually look really nice here. If you want the chance to be featured as the spawn of the week, make sure to join the Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comment. We also have various other stuff going on in the Discord, and once we hit 6k, we'll also be hosting a 4v4 tournament, which will be streamed. Anyway, that sums up everything this week. By the way, Husky Raid is being rotated out today, so if you didn't get a chance to try it, um, I guess you'll just have to wait for it to be rotated back in. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.